Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Comics on TV. I'm Gigi. And I'm Big Rick. And this is your weekly review of iZombie. This yeah. week's episode was something long and lengthy. Yeah, what was it? was it? A dead Rat, Live Rat, Brown Rat, White Rat. Very uh, Dr. Seuss. Very Dr. Seuss. So I missed you guys, by the way. I was gone uh, for a little bit, so you guys were a Rick and Josh team, but it now was, it's it, Gina to Rick team. Yeah, and we're going to have a great time talking about this awesome episode, which starts off with a very, I know what you did last summer, feel with four or rip kids. Off. Ri yeah. Rip off. Exactly. Yeah, we'll go with rip off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's exactly how it went. The uh, four teenagers run over a gentleman who we saw get chopped up chum-like in yeah. a previous Sebastian, episode. Sebastian, previously, who uh, now we realize is a zombie, and we kind of figured out the end of last the last episode when you saw him appear right. with his face all cut up and all that blood. Um, but yeah, so Sebastian's a zombie now, and they think they hit him with the car, or hit him with the car, and they think they killed him, so they bury him. And I'm amazed he let them go that far, but I guess it was right. part of his ruse of how to capture them. So after they bury his body and they're all crying, you know, their story of, oh, I don't want to go to jail, then you see this hand reach up from the dirt. Right, and, and they're still packed in. They're still sitting there going, we need to make this pact. Nobody talks about this. Never mm -hmm. never again do we mention this event. Yes. And then the cheerleader gets a little panicky, and as she's complaining, they turn around and yeah. standing right next to her is Sebastian. Ooh, all creepy. Creepy, creepy. Yeah, so anyway, so of course he, like, tears her limb to limb, whatever, like, eats her up. So these kids are, you know, go off that. They don't want to tell anybody the story. So the, they don't discover the body for a couple weeks like a dog right. finds like her foot um so Liv is on the case now then the brains are so like from weeks of Ugh. being out there all gross she's got to like drink them but she's very funny in this character that she takes right. on this cheerleader named Kimber was the one that got killed and so Liv kind of takes on this teenage personality right guess, we're using right? all the the totes, to yeah, totes <laughs> and, goats and uh for sure and all these yeah, other uh -huh. weird things that kids say I had to actually call one of my own children and be like <laughs> what does this mean I I liked it. I thought it was a fun, like, little, you know, thing for her. And so they talk to the best friend, this girl Taters, and she kind of gets on the level with her. Find all this information. She was supposed to be at, like, some kind of youth retreat mm -hmm. and blew it off for this guy that she thought was super hot, who was the guy Nate that's in this band called the Ass Hats. What a great name, because they totally were. They absolutely were. They absolutely <laughs> were. So the Ass Hats is made up of Nate, Cameron, and then this chick who you recognized as. Yeah, she is the same actress who plays Sin in an Arrow. And she basically looked exactly <laughs> yeah. the same. So good for you, CW. Yeah, <laughs> Way to get the fresh. most out of your actors. <laughs> so um, as they're going through, they find out. You know, she has a vision that you know Nate was um, messing out or messing around with uh, with Kimber. So trying to go along. So now Nate turns up dead. They go and question yep. the kids, and they're all like, "Oh no, we weren't Dropping involved." Like flies. Next thing you know, Nate turns up dead. So she's got to eat Nate's brains, and Nate is a total stoner. stoner yeah, re stoner, reminiscent stoner. of the um, Biodome guys. Yes, very. Yeah. Much so, very, very much so. like earthy, and you know, everything's funny because he's constantly high and looking for his next, you know, yeah. dope fix. So, uh, Liv is even making a little apple bong and everything, but right. it was sad because when she was a cheerleader, she was so chummy with Peyton, her roommate, and right. it was like getting really close, curling each other's hair, telling stories. And now that she's a stoner, she's totally blowing off Peyton all over again, which is a bummer. So, yeah. um, at that point, now we're getting and trying to figure out exactly what's happening. The girl from Arrow, from Arrow is give uh, basically comes up and is like, Hey, I think I'm next to be killed yeah. and uh, everything. But what the underlying story, which is the main story throughout the season, is the zombie brains that, um, what's his name? The gentleman, the rock star looking guy. Oh, Blaine. 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 Blaine rhymes with brain. Brain, <laughs> Blaine, got it. Now, word association. You know how this show but names word, people. That's words are why dumb. <laughs> That's probably why they named him Blaine. It just occurred to me. It rhymes with brain. <laughs> no. And the candy man. Yes. So Major's still on his whole investigative kick. He yeah. basically thinks that he's going to die. So he makes this really dramatic, if you're watching this video, I'm, I'm already, already dead. dead. Right? And he, again, he goes off to do something very dumb, Major-like. Mm -hmm. As a health buys, inspector. Buys more guns because he's watching How to Kill Zombies. I guess right. there's videos on YouTube of that. But don't waste your time watching those. Watch comics on TV. It's right, far better Right, right. Much better. Yes. So he buys these guns and is ready to like kill and, and goes and pretends to be the health, health inspector, inspector. As you're saying, at the meet cute. My favorite name for any uh, butcher <laughs> so shop So crazy. Ever. Yes. And, <laughs> of course... Speed along, he yeah, gets, gets captured, captured because Julian, the big, you know, yeah, goon, the candy man. figures out who he is and is like, oh, I got him. So he captures him and they've got him like all tied up and are like, right. you know. It going. looks like he's just tied up with like one little string of yeah. duct tape on each yeah. side. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I know if you got zombies staring at you, you're not going to like probably make a break for it. But Z right. Major has become a moron throughout this show. Yes. I give him credit because, you know, he's going to kill all the zombies. But uh, meanwhile, he's gotten his ass kicked at least three or four Every times time. this Every season. Time. So it's just next for him to get kicked uh, by like right. a four-year-old girl is like next. And uh, the killer, Sebastian, yeah. back, back to the 
episode storyline, Sebastian shows up at Liv's apartment, knocks yeah. Peyton out, yes. and is sitting there cooking up some brains as uh, Liv comes home. Yes, exactly. And it, we have but a total Peyton's, zombie. yeah, knocked out. Peyton's right. knocked out. At first, you're not even sure, but Liv's not crying enough for you to think she's actually dead. Right. Because you're watching him cook, you're thinking, is he cooking her brains, whatever, but didn't look like enough blood. But yeah, so he is mad at Liv for turning him into a zombie, found out he just ate his aunt Edna, which is right. unfortunate. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, for a killer, it was like his only person in life that he cared about. Yes, exactly. So, so, But she cut her head on the freezer, and instead of stitching her up, he just ate her up. Right. So that was unfortunate. But yeah, so he starts attacking Liv, Liv goes after him, you know, it's a whole frying pan, knives, knives in hands, knives right. in whatever, and she stabs him in the head, and she's got a knife in her hand, and guess who saw that whole thing? Yeah, Peyton. Peyton! Liv going red eye, full yeah. on zombie, and she's like, uh, and then Liv just like rips a knife out of her own hand. She's like, uh, why are you not bleeding? Like, what's going right. on? Like, you just stabbed that guy in the head. She admits to her she's a zombie. She's like, I, don't, I won't hurt you though. I'm right. a nice zombie. Yeah, I've been a zombie and this yeah, whole time. I, I haven't just done anything. I brains from the morgue. You know, people are already dead. So um, she goes to get peroxide for her. Peyton and right. she comes back and she's gone, gone, which is super sad because Ravi and her were supposed to go to San Francisco for a tour yeah, of everything because that whole Vertigo. relationship is really blossoming between Ravi and Peyton. I and know. I think next next episode is probably gonna either bring it to closure or bring it to closure. Yeah. So this was the only I think during the season like kind of two parter, like a non finished. I mean, I know there's mm -hmm. a streaming storyline, but in this case, it was. Oh, yeah, the it's not done yet. Yeah. Like you didn't find out who did anything Absolutely. or whatnot. But there's some kind of tone of like money somewhere because when the girl from Arrow right. got a text while she was in the police station because she was going to be under police protection, and it said, "Don't trust the police. Come to this hotel." She goes to the hotel room and she gets, you know, grabs yeah. sees blood, gets grabbed. You see, at the very end, she dials nine one one, and they're and she's like, "Hello, up. hello." Yeah, she's all like beaten up. But somewhere in there, there was texts about like. You know, bring his bring stuff. this money, bring his stuff, yeah. and then there's like dollar signs. So we really don't know. It was very vague in that. We're gonna find that out in the season finale, I'm sure. Right. But right now, I'm sad because I don't want to see. I really was like, oh my god, are they gonna kill Peyton off now? Because right. it was like when Lowell Tracy died. I know I wasn't here for that review, but I was super sad about that. <laughs> very it's, sad. I, I wasn't. I, I, of course you weren't. Yes. You guys are all jealous of British men. Yes, we are. I know. <laughs> anyway, but that's what we thought. I think we covered pretty much everything. And Absolutely. Trust me, if you didn't see the episode, once you watch it, you will understand why our review is all over the place because well, this the, episode uh, is all over the, the place. The episode was all, all over the place, but the only thing we did miss, and I think, is the title. Yes. The rat died. Oh, yes, this is important. The zombie rat that they thought was cured died, came back to life mm -hmm. as a brown rat, and then was re-zombified re by Ravi in the hopes, again, to find this cure, which... You know, maybe he'll find it by the end yeah. of the season. We'll find out next week. Another tiny little tidbit that was in there that I forgot is is that while Major's all tied up at the meet cute, oh. Liv's brother comes in to apply for a job there, and only you know like Blaine has no time for him until he sees his emergency contact on there is Liv, and he's like, oh, I've got a perfect job for you. And so Major's in there, you know, all taped up, like, oh crap, Liv's right. brother's gonna get a job. What are they gonna do? So I doubt they're gonna actually hire him there. I think. In the next episode, we're going to see him in similar situations. Yeah, I agree. Fun. Yeah, so that's what we thought of it. If you didn't see the episode again, watch it. Or if you've seen I Know What You Did Last Summer, you kind of did see the episode. Absolutely. So, <laughs> anyway, but please, as always, comment down below. Hopefully, you're already subscribed to our YouTube and Vimeo channels. But, yeah, comment, comment, comment. Find us on Facebook. Throw us a like. We love them. Got to do the Josh. He does, yeah. And follow us on Twitter at the Real Comic Wow. We also have Snapchat. The Comic Wow guys has a lot of behind the scenes things that we're doing here. It's pretty funny. It's somewhere over here, yeah, I'm assuming. Here. And now we're actually on Instagram as well at the Real Comic Wow. So right. make sure you check us out. All the funny little Insta photos of what goes on here. Things. It'll probably be a screenshot of us like this. Yeah, doing si silliness. <laughs> and lastly, go to comicwow.com. Start a profile. It's your community, it's a free community, and we wanted to be a part of it with you, so come join us. And we look forward to reviewing the season finale with you right here next week on Comics on TV. Till then, I'm Gigi. And I'm Big Rick. You're welcome. Hey everybody, don't forget, we still got the iZombie promotion going on from DC Collectibles. You better hurry up and get it before Rick eats it. Ah, yes. <laughs> Seriously, hurry up. Ah, I can't hold my, him off much longer. Ah. Bad! Oh.